Um, I have Jackie today. She's uh, a friend's dog and she's staying with us for a few hours today. And um, I wanted to talk to you about the true purpose of animals. And Jackie, have a look. She's the cutest thing and she loves balls. And she actually plays croquet with her ball. She moves the ball between her little legs and then she throws it through the back legs. I don't know how to explain it, but we call her the croquet player. And um, we love having dogs, but we don't have any, um, any pets our, ourselves. And um, that is so because um, we have a lot of wildlife where we live and um, every time the kangaroos come and, um, and we have koala sometimes and wombats and lots and lots of bird life. So we don't want the dogs to, um, we don't want the dogs to bark at them and, and uh, chase them away. <laughs> and um, so I wanted to talk about uh, what is the purpose of animals. Um, when I first started meditating some 20 odd years ago, I had this um, experience, I call it experience, you know, you can call it whatever it is. Um, once you have an inner experience, then uh, you will know that you had an experience. But if you can explain that to other people and they will say, oh, it's just your mind, or it's just this, or it's just that. It doesn't matter what other people say. It's your experience and you have experienced it. So, so what I was told in that experience about animals, I was shown that animals are not really here for us to touch them. They're here for us to enjoy them and look at them, but we're not supposed to make them pets because that's really a very selfish thing, if you think about it. And, and understand that this is all just my opinion and I always accept other people's opinions and, and I'm just sharing my truth and what I was told. And that was for me, so it might not be the truth for everybody. So. This is what I want to say before I talk about these things. Um, animals um, are here for us to, uh, to, to look at and to enjoy. We're not to make them our pets and we're not to touch them and we're not to use them. Um, just the way we, you know, we don't use, we don't use uh, human beings, hopefully not. <laughs> so we don't want to use animals and uh, and, and use them for our purposes because if we love something we want the best for that for that being or that person <laughs> you stay here I don't want you to run away because then I can't find you and then mommy comes back and what happens then then I'm 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 the one who is uh, who is to blame for letting you go we're going for a walk now so so that's um, what I wanted to talk about um, about animals and um, I had uh, a dog once and it was it was like my child I didn't go to uni anymore and I just wanted to take care of of my dog because it was like my child so I'm really happy to not have um, any pets because um, as soon as they die it's it's a terrible tragedy we had a, a, a bird once that uh, we found. It was a cockatiel and we found the cockatiel. Look, we found the cockatiel on, on the road, on the bitumen. And we took it to, uh, to the vet and we asked, you know, in the, in the area if somebody lost their bird, but nobody lost it. And my husband said, we're not gonna keep it. Um, but the next day he went out and he bought a big cage for it. And um, so we kept the cockatiel and we called it Cookie. And uh, of course, the kids said, oh, we'll clean out the cage, but they never did it. It was always my job. I had, they did it a few times. And then every morning when uh, I came down, uh, I, I, left it, I let, let him out of the cage and he would sit on my shoulder or my head and I would make breakfast. Um, he would never poo on my, my head or on my shoulder or anywhere. He would do that to other people, but not to me. <laughs> I used to have little earrings and um, uh, he would pull them out. He would pull them out all, all the time. So I, I stopped wearing earrings. Um, and then one day 
I didn't research enough, I think, about cockatiels. We had him about uh, two years, and um, one day I was eating um, a bowl, and I always have avocado in my bowl, and Cookie would come, and um, sometimes when I had a glass with green smoothie, he would sit on the edge and drink out of my glass and have some green smoothie, and he would always want to eat what I eat, and I just, I just felt his love so much. I always called him my little boy, and he had so much love. I had no idea how birds can be, you know, can give so much love. So um, one day I had a. I ate the whole bowl of salad. There must have been a little bit of avocado left and I had no idea that it was poisonous to them. And I poisoned my little boy. <laughs> um, it, uh, when I, the next day I had to go to swimming with the kids and my husband was there, he wasn't feeling well. And I hoped that he was better when I came back. But when I came back, my husband said he had died. And um, that was horrible, I, I really, cried so much for two weeks but that, then I remembered a dream that I had had two weeks before Cookie died and Cookie uh, was in my arms and he became a really big bird and I would always call him my little boy and and then the little bird turned into a little baby it was an Asian baby and then the baby became a big boy and jumped from my arms and ran away and um, and so I realized when I asked the meaning of that dream, I will also make a video about dreams because dreams are very important messages often from our higher self. The higher self is, is talking to us through dreams, isn't it? And um, little Jackie is so happy just being on my arm. You're very, very good, You're very, very good girl. And I'll give you a ball in a moment. And um, so I was told in that dream that Cookie will become in his next life he will become a become a human being and uh, and be a little asian boy so i was really happy because our uh, our higher self always takes care of us and my higher self knew how much i loved cookie and <laughs> told me that it's all right you know death there's there is no real death we're just it's just a transformation in into something else and so i was very happy about that what other dreams have I had with uh, with animals? We lived on a yacht uh, for a little while when we um, when we homeschooled our children, and um, I had a dream when I was living on that yacht, and uh, we lived in a marina. And into the marina in my dream, there came the dolphins. We would see dolphins almost every day. It was wonderful. Uh, it was down down in Tasmania. I had a dream about dolphins coming into the marina. And the dolphins, I could see them underwater, they were swimming, and they turned into human beings swimming underwater. So this was another a dream for me to show me that, that these dolphins that I was seeing were turning into human beings into their next life. Um, we also had a rat once on the, on the boat and the rat, oh my God, it made such a mess. It was, it would go into the electrical cables of my husband and he did, really hated it. So I had a dream at night of that rat. Yes, of, of a rat. Do you like rats? Do you chase rats? And um, so I had a dream that the rat was talking to me. <laughs> I know, it's silly, but it was talking to me and he was saying, oh, I love your boat, it's so quiet and I love the peace and quiet in your boat because we meditate in the boat as well. And, um, and so what, and I told my husband about that dream. Oh, and also the dream was that the rat, after the rat came a lot of more rats, you saw her family and they all turned into human beings. And um, so I was kind of told through that dream, do not touch the rat, do not kill it. And, but the, the solution was given by the rat itself in my dream. And I told my husband, oh, the rat really likes it here because it's so peaceful and so quiet on the boat. And so my husband said, okay, let's pack for the weekend and we go on a, on a holiday. And we told the neighbors who were living next to us in a big, uh, big, big uh, boat as well. And, uh, we told them and we said we're going to turn on the music really really loud over the weekend and if you if you don't if you don't mind we're going to do this because we want to get rid of the rat 
And so we did that and when we came back, the rat was gone. We found her nest and she had nested just where we slept with our heads underneath. Um, and, uh, and we found her beautiful nest and the nest was just like a, a, a piece of art. It was interwoven mu sheet music from my kids in the woven uh, wool that, I, that I'd lost, in the woven plastic bags, all kinds of stuff interwoven into a beautiful piece of art. And I just couldn't believe how beautiful um, rats were. And so she wasn't there, so my husband clogged up all of the, the little holes that were every, anywhere in the, um, in, uh, in the boat. And, uh, and, um, and then, at night times, I could hear her coming back over the rope and we had everything closed. So she tried to, she sniffed around over my head and I heard her sniffing around and she couldn't come in and she had brought her partner. <laughs> so we had no more rats after that. So that, that was really, really good. Um, I had another dream about animals and it was about, um, it was about, um, cockroaches and also that cockroaches turn into animals and to be to not kill them and uh, that was uh, very enlightening and um, so the cockroaches um, that that dream is a bit uh, more controversial uh, but I was shown that some human beings when they are in contact with other human beings uh, they turn into uh, people with shells like cockroaches so nothing can touch them and nothing can soften their heart because they have the shell around them so um, it was a, a very controversial dream and uh, just to show me that um, we have to be careful with kind of what people our children get in contact with and if these people are very worldly people and they only think about material stuff and money um, you know then then when our children come in contact with these people for example um, you know when they're little and at school and all these places they could turn into things like that as well into people with uh, thick shells like they were portrayed as cockroaches to me so it was very um, very sad. So thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye.